what is up everybody real space t the auburn abbey welcome to the stream oh oh what's this oh it's a new oh it's a new camera angle what oh isn't that fancy how cool is that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see it's been it's been a good hour on stream working that one out so we got this one for console gaming this one I figure is good for PC and whatnot because I gotta be really close to the desk camera has to be the camera's like all the way across the room it's it's so dumb but it works it works so well and so i can i can be like this i'm doing my computer thing and it's all good plus i feel really professional like i'm at a desk doing some work this is a very important business meeting Today's news, the world is on fire. <laughs> More tonight at six. Do you know where your kids are? Looks good. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm so happy. We, we spent like half the stream. It's so bad. I should have, I should have chopped up the VOD, but I didn't. I was too lazy. So I just put it out there and, and it's me messing with the camera. For like an hour or something. Oh, finally. I, I probably lost a very captive audience, but <laughs> it's alright. Let's 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 kick it over here. Yeah, this one's nice. Uh this one's good for our purposes. I'll be back here. Anyway. Um how you guys doing tonight? We're we're gonna kill Sean Bean again. We killed Sean Bean last night, but you know, we're gonna kill him again. We're gonna kill him again, right? Just waiting for the stuff to load. Wait, why is that red? Get access, what do you mean? Oh no, no, come on, man. Oh, fuck. I went to bed when you started with the camera. Yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand. I understand completely, okay. Something's wrong here, so let's let's take it back to the chat cam. I'm gonna have to do some I wonder how it looks from here. This this I didn't sort out. <laughs> I couldn't make it bigger, man. I can't make it bigger. We lose fidelity. It looks bad. So Alright, let me uh let me look at this. Cause uh something's wrong here. It's saying I don't have access to all the Hitman content. Um, after this, I think we're gonna we're gonna chill and do some IRL stuff, uh, which I think will be fun. Okay, it looks it looks like everything's on the up and up here. Yeah, everything's everything's on the internal drive. Absolutely everything. Why does it say him into prologue? I don't like that. Let me launch this again. So I did everything right last night. Um, 
and I should have gotten a silent assassin, but actually the one thing that I did wrong was um, I assumed that the pen kill was going to be an accident, and it was not. It did not count as an accident, so that's, that's where we are. Uh, what's the clip? What's the clip, dude? Just, let's have a look. Oh my god. Here's Aaron with the headlines. Oh my god, let me see. Let me see. Does my display... Does this work? This is going to be a big... Yep. Just a big flop. Why does this never work? Why, why, why? Display capture never works. Today's news. The world is on fire. <laughs> More tonight at six. Do you know where your kids are? Today's news. The world is on fire. <laughs> and and freaking Auburn Abbey. I'm I'm gonna put that clip in the um uh Discord. I really do need to sort, um, cause I like that new camera angle. I really need to figure out how to make it bigger without ruining the the image, cause I stretched it and it just. Why does everyone call you a Aaron? Ugh. It looked Ugh. bad. It looked bad. Yeah, you're you're showing you you're my latest sub, I guess. Yeah, twenty three. 23 guardians holy crap <laughs> freaking awesome you know what we need to do we need to update our our background i wanted to try black for a little bit but i'm getting bored of it we did it for like a stream or two let's see let's see let's see um oh is that just when i don't have anything i want to do something somewhat festive and I think this is the only time. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's so cool. Let's, we'll stick with that. That's... Oh, yeah. I'm awesome. Um, <laughs> Real space with the Avron. All right, let me see if I can, I can get this working now. I guess sometimes the game starts up and it's like, you don't own everything. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? I bought the game twice and I paid like... A hundred and fifty dollars or something for this edition. Uh, yeah, the Xbox edition was very expensive. Very, very expensive. Okay, now it's working. How do you guys like? Yeah, do you guys like this scene? Let, let me let me go away for a second so you just see how good this scene. Is. Oh my God, what a like it's. I kind of wish you could see more than maybe I need these. I don't know. Maybe I just need to... <laughs> I don't know why I can't fix this. Like, look, look, look. I'll show you. If I try to make it bigger, I, I look terrible. So, like... That's also the lighting. That's... I don't know. Maybe it's not so bad. Like, if I get the lighting stuff worked out... I forget, I have to look this way now. That's going to take some getting used to. You're going to be seeing the side of my face a lot. Um, so I actually bought like a little selfie light, and it's going to attach to the desk and point at me. And that, that should resolve most of the problems. But yeah, let's go back to that one. And now we can go back to this. Oh, pro streamer. Tiny, yeah, tiny Aaron in the snow. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to kill Sean Bean. Are you... Whoa, Big Well Kale is here. Hang on. I was about to ask if everyone was ready, but... Welcome, Big Well Kale. All right. 
We're, we're getting the gang back together. We are going to kill Sean Bean for a second time because I own this game on two platforms. I'd buy it on PS4. I might do that. <laughs> I really might. It would be so fun to be able to run the uh, elusive targets a couple times and do them in different ways or something. We're going to do it kind of similar to how we did last night, but we're going to do it better. I know how to do it better this time. So I do have to hide the body. Unless, hang on, hang on. Unless, let me, let me just, just a second, just a second. If I have, do I have a, no. Um, how far am I? We, we could very well do a quick contract if 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 how does this work? classic all black suit wow that's cool um okay those are overall rewards no i'm looking for let's look at masteries let's look at masteries here oh do i have to pick a certain map <sighs> Set of poison vial. No, it's not here. Where do I get this? Oh, there it is. Modern lethal syringe. Ooh, we, we, could, could, could we? Could we? Is that alright with you guys? If the, It would be so much easier. Because then I wouldn't have to hide the body. If we killed him with a lethal syringe. What do you guys think? That would make this... Uh, 100% that we would get a silent assassin, I believe. The timing is going to have to be very precise, but we I think we could do it. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to play this mission real quick and unlock that. And we'd certainly get to at least probably level 5 in one go if we did it. If we did it just right. So we could play Sapienza real quick. Uh, otherwise we could kill him with the pen maybe have time to hide the body it's up to you guys do you guys want him to die with the pen uh, or do you want to make it easy on me <laughs> it's up to you up to you we got you know we got um, what is it 38 hours we're not going to be here that long though I think we could uh... oh and they added yeah they added uh, an escalation here uh, right there, the Macmillan, Macmillan, surrep, surrep, surreptition. I sorry, I checked out. That's okay. Um, do not leave the foliage for longer than fifteen seconds. What the? F kind of what? That's insane. That's insane. Um, so we can kill him with a syringe or a pen. What do you guys think? The syringe means we don't have to hide the body. It will look like an accident. But if we do it with a pen, uh, then I have to hide the body. And that's going to require some pretty precise timing. We have to be very quick, very careful. But I, I have, I have a plan to make sure no one sees us, but whether we get everything done in time it's it's good um work was awful today so my brain is the consistency of applesauce mm. i'm sorry abby <laughs> i'm sorry you had a bad day just a lot going on huh yep hug hug abby That was weird. <laughs> all right, I'm not going to do that again. That was weird. I say pen because intense sounds fun. Okay, all right, all right. And a real space with the hug. Here we go. 
Good morning, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or I can't want to do that, but it won't. Infiltrate the staff entrance at the back it of the building. Work. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself, or rig the room to your advantage. Leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47. To be entirely honest, this one's a bit of an embarrassment. Please, make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. One chance, one death, one window. No, no, we we gotta do it this way. We gotta get a silent assassin. The thing about sniping him is we wouldn't be able to hide the body. I would try it if we if I, if I had one more copy and I could play it on PlayStation. Um. Yeah, I know. Real Space is interested now. Yeah, he's like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there's no, you, once you win, whether you win or you lose, you can't, this is a once in a, once, once, one time thing. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's actually really cool. And I've never failed one of these before. Uh, but then again, I'm kind of a hitman veteran, but I mean, I've never failed one of these. You know, it's not. I'm going to use the Midnight Black Suit because I actually got this with the Xbox version because I bought the, the fancy edition with the, uh, suitcase and all that so that's cool um let's bring a briefcase i just like to do this for fun let's bring the jaeger yeah I, I gotta get silent assassin but we're gonna do it with the pen we're gonna do it with the pen kill Okay, we're gonna do it completely undetected. Assassin? Did someone say assassin? Yeah, we're, we're gonna get a silent assassin. <laughs> dude, what is up, assassin man? Welcome to the stream, dude. Always good to see you. Um, you think there's a chance that you can do it with a pen? Yeah, there's a chance because we did it last night, but the only thing was I didn't hide the body because I thought it would count as an accident. If you get an accident kill, you're all good. But if not, all right. So, um, the sky is up. That's true. Um, so yeah, there he is. Oh, I actually didn't read this. He's an explosive expert and freelance assassin with a penchant for violent theatrical spectacles. A disgraced MI5 agent, Faber has deployed a unique shock and awe methodology inspired in equal terms by terrorism and performance art. He goes to great lengths to eliminate his targets as loudly and viscerally as possible. Wow, this is a long bio. Present at the site of an IRA bombing in London, 10-year-old Mark Faber experienced the power and spectacle of terrorism at close hand. 
traumatized, the young boy withdrew from society, resorted to living in his parents' basement outside school hours, and deeply embedded himself in the world of hobby electronics and hacking. At 18, he had become smitten with the flamboyance of the late 1980s hacker scene. But after a series of hacks against the government, Fabo was arrested and given a non-choice. Hone his skills with the Secret Service and work for Queen and Country, or face years of incarceration. At MI5, Fabo became an ace marksman and demolitions expert. He learned infiltration techniques and worked for years on domestic surveillance projects aimed at journalists, politicians, corporate heads, and members of the upper class. Eventually, the work peeled away every shred of decency and humanity and the boundaries between right and wrong dissolved. While in a job to install surveillance equipment in the hotel suite of a visiting foreign diplomat, Fab's cover was blown. A struggle ensued and Faba ended up killing his intended surveillance target. He tried to cover his tracks, but forensics experts at MI5 soon suspected foul play. As the evidence mounted, Faba felt the ground burn beneath him. In his desperation, he turned to his old hacker connections and with their aid, Mark Faba disappeared from the world. Soon after, he was presumably dead by his own hand. Flash forward 10 years. When MI6 agent was murdered under spectacular circumstances, the investigation revealed that Mark Fabo was in fact alive and working as a freelance assassin in various conflict zones around the world. An ICA contract was issued on Fabo, requesting his immediate termination. The agency dispatched one of its most seasoned agents who successfully eliminated Fabo in Somalia. Or so it seemed. A few years later, however, Fabo reappeared in Kosovo alive and well, and so began one of the most enigmatic cases in ICA history. From that initial contract to present day, ICA has confirmed the death of Fabo no less than 25 times. Yet somehow he keeps re reappearing, growing bolder with every unsuccessful attempt, and having the audacity to send us clues to his whereabouts. Fabo, with the internal nickname The Undying, has proven to be an unerasable embarrassment for the agency, and now he has sent us another taunting invitation. If you're not busy, come to Miami during the innovation race. It's sure to be a crowd pleaser. The board has decided that enough is enough. This time, they're sending their absolute best. If anyone can send Faba to an early, and not to mention permanent grave, it is you, 47. This bio is amazing. Yes, we are killing Sean Bean. We're gonna nail this, he always dies. Oh my god. They're clones, I know. That's what I was thinking. I was like, he probably has a double. And I was almost surprised that there weren't doubles in this mission. Alright. You must begin before the countdown expires. If you die, you may not retry the contract. Once you have completed the contract and exited, you may not retry the contract. Unless, once you have begun to complete objectives, you may no longer restart the contract. Plan accordingly. You cannot save your game and the contract may contain additional fail conditions. But this one's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. This one's so good, I kind of wish we could replay it. Because there's honestly so much to it. They've designed such a cool story to this. And yeah, that bio is so... I can't believe I didn't notice that. We're going to have to read those from now on. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. For some reason, that... Oh, there's the... See, the textures are loading late Dave from Reddy, the cutscenes. our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. Oh my god, why is the aim speed so fast? Hurry up, buddy. We're running real late here, all right? So I'll maintain that the deceased general acts alone when he's attempting to overthrow the country's democratically elected
cool. So we're off to a good start. We've taken out the camera. Now we can meet our contact and move on. Hey, hurry up, buddy. We're running real late here, all right? You must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay, so like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right, that outfit looks appropriate. The ICA has struck it. Let's go. They're expecting yeah. us upstairs. Um, I actually should have let that play. Hmm. But yeah, this guy, he's in deep with the cartel. He's in a bit, bit of a pickle, so we're going to bail him out of it. In exchange for him. Hey man, this guy's I love what you do. I don't, I don't understand it, but it's great. So, this deal is closed when we enter the room, all right? I get you in, that's all. And then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Getting involved with people like the Morenos, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know, buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid! The Moreno cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could've used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so, uh, let's put on our game faces. Hi. I'm... So, we finally meet. You don't quite look like I expected. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure. It's a bean! I'm Dave Reddy, special acquisitions gatekeeper working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, I see. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be, uh, <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem at all. <laughs> all right, well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. Ken Four. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. A <laughs> completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fella, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary. I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. A jassy! Then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. You, suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan? You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. Emetic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. What else? Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough. But there are bushes down there. They break the fall. Might walk away without a single broken bone. Final bid? Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. 
but very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room, but I would love to see you try that. I'll just head over to check on what that you guys working on. You carry on. Sean Bean was talking to me, you guys. Oof. Alright, so let's get to work. But first, I'm a little I'm a little hungry, so let's let's grab a muffin. Muffin for the road. I could say I knew all about you, but things have been uncharacteristically secretive. You work in weapons development, too? More on the practical application side of things, if you understand. Oh, uh, uh, uh of course. V v very nice. Well, um, I looked at the diagrams you sent. I haven't had that much time to work on the prototypes, but I, I do have something early to show you. Lovely. Let's have a look. designs were interesting. Did, did you do them yourself, I wonder? <laughs> they were drawn up to my specifications. Ah, so that explains the unpredictable nature of your work. I like things to be custom. You could say that space rules are part of my signature. Very interesting, Mr. Faber. Right, let's have a look at this. It needed to be an exact replica of some God's favorite fountain. supposed to do with this thing leveling on d2 some difficulty accommodating yep jassy's gonna be on that just cause four tonight i can't wait well, the, the pen's actually woven from the the finest boron nitrate nanotube with a pentile frame surpassing 13,000 megapascals. i'm sure that will impress your engineering friends but that hardly makes it explosive i specifically requested an explosive pen A volatile compound that would be able to achieve that is something's wrong with my controller. I think it's moving. A distilled sample of Mr. Knox's nitro booster didn't even come close. Frankly, this is my good a controller, too. Mr. Faber. Of course, that's the whole point. There isn't much spectacle in waiting for the man to accidentally stab himself. I need a new one with your ridiculous boron nitrate pen on live television, is there? I, uh, oh, I suppose not. Disappointing. Well, done is done. I suppose I'll have to try to figure out how to use this thing now. All right. So, this is Robert Knox's newborn child. Should we kill it? After you can see it's been facing humans for a long time. It's finally out. It's my eldest children, Jim. But you, my friend, lack what all machines lack. Spontaneity. The ability to think freely on your feet. And, perhaps more important than anything, the ability to feel fear, whether we like it or not. Fear of death is what drives us. It makes us human. Once we lose that, I saw his talk on artificial intelligence last year. I'm more of a flesh and blood kind of guy than things like you. But we can all become indestructible. I certainly hope not. But we'll be able to endure many. Hmm. A bomb. It 
doesn't actually have to be that powerful. See, I'm moving the stick just like a little bit, and then all of a sudden he starts moving. It's not misdirection if people aren't looking at it. This isn't exactly a discreet container. I suppose if we had balloons to do that, spray paint this to look like a helium canister, you think we could make this work? The most ingenious yeah, look, he moved. Do you have the gold edition? We you have it all. Multiple compounds from this, effectively shaping its use based on what we add to it. How so? Well, for instance, if you were to require a, a flashier explosion, the Nox burns quite quickly and doesn't produce long-lasting flame. But if you were to add a, an adhesive or, or even a magnesium solution to the compound, things would change dramatically. After all, it was originally designed to produce colored flames and smoke for drag racing events. Hmm. That is very useful indeed. I have to say, Miss Dean, I like what I'm seeing here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Faber. I'll head back to the briefing room for a while. I'll see you later. Exploding pans? Ugh, ridiculous. The practical value is zero compared to the development costs. How would something like that ever become a commercial success? All right, so we're going to take him out. What's going on with my controller? It doesn't do this in other games. I've been using this controller on PC, no problem, but I hop on this game and it's being weird. Nobody comes in this room, but... Wait, what is that? Metal cabinet key. Maybe you could delete your save, maybe. I don't know, maybe you could even open up the game on a separate profile and just play it, you know?
Mr. Faber, there you are. Thanks. Please stand back. I'll check it out. Hmm, fine. What the... What idiot would drop this? Nobody notices the Uzi. Hey, holster that thing. Ugh. Perhaps if we dilute the ink inside the pen, fuck the ink's poison or something along those lines. Something that may God damn it. Extreme pain or I didn't see that Uzi pain. for some reason. To look good on camera. Damn it. Creative thinking, Mr. Faber. I see how you've managed to get where you are today. Hardly seems like an effective weapon. All it takes is a little imagination and a lot of patience. I was supposed to lure both guards out. You're an interesting concept, my friend. We're going to have him go another path. The to get up close and personal with you, which makes you very useful. It wouldn't let me talk to him there. I noticed that on the PC and Xbox. Every time I press Y, it doesn't work. a solidifying agent to this retarder to keep it from drying out. I'm just gonna put like three or four guns in the room. Fire that would make the headlines. How is something like this gonna kill anyone? In the right hands, anything can be a deadly weapon. You wanna put that away, cowboy? We're not in Texas. That was not worth the agitation. How would you kill someone with this? It's surprisingly simple to kill a person with something like that. No, <laughs> we're not in Texas. I'll be back. Keep everything warm for me, will you? Will do. Now he's going. Yeah. Door phases through guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That too. Alright, I might keep my pistol. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for him to make a, another pass around. I think I think we have the right routine because he goes straight for that pen. I think we're going to hide the body where we hid you over here. Right in there. 
We should have enough time. Because uh, there's no space. Yeah, we filled this. And there's no other. Oh! That goes up further. I didn't know about this. That's an interesting entrance to get in here. Okay. These aren't really necessary, but I'll just pick them up to get extra experience. Good, good plan. Hopefully it works. about this guy oh, step back and let me deal with this thanks what about the I third guy what about this guy don't move I'll go check oh okay yes yes yes, yes. What the hell is that? What? Is he taking my briefcase? Where the fuck? He just said... What? I'm gonna... I gotta restart this. This is... What? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going with my briefcase? He just stole it. What is he doing? What? What is he? Where is... What? What are you doing? This has backfired so badly. Where, where are you? That's not your briefcase, dude. What is he doing? Where, where are you? Where are you going with that? Let me take care of that. Hmm, fine. All right, I'm going to restart. Wow. <laughs> what? Why did he pick up my brief? I'm not going to bring the briefcase. I did not know anybody could do that. He just picked it up. The target. What the fuck? Good afternoon, 47. All right. Your target is all... Dave Reddy, our informant. You is can't restart you once you start if doing you objectives, like, but because I didn't kill him or do anything else. What you do from then on is up to you. Oh, uh, we're good. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. Now, had I gotten detected or had I uh, been shot at or shot at someone, you know... Then there'd be absolutely no going back. Nothing here. Must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay. So like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. That outfit looks... The ICA has struck a deal with Dave Reddy, one of the two men your target has come to Miami to meet with. Reddy got in some trouble with the Moreno cartel, and the ICA has promised to clear it up for him, if he helps us get close to Mark Faber. Reddy is currently waiting for you in the reception area of the Bayside Center. Appropriate. All right. Now let's go. They're expecting us upstairs.
I got a plan. Looking good today, sir. This guy's with me. So, this deal is closed when we enter the room, all right? I get you in, that's all. And then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. is the biggest in the southern hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. I want to buy a yacht, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to say, fuck the meeting. And we're going to prep our that scene. That is Mark Faber. Possibly the most elusive man in the history of the ICA. I'm sorry, sir. You need correct clearance. What is this? Do some filing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm a very important businessman. All right, so we need to knock out you. Not you, but the guy named you. Here he is, here he comes, here he comes. See, I think if we knock all these guys out and then we're you when, when he comes, uh, Faber comes to the room. Not you, you, but the guy named you, you know. You. Not you, but the guy named you. The guy in the game. So we're gonna do this contract, and then uh, if you guys wanna hang out afterward, I'm gonna do some IRL stuff, and I'm, I'm gonna ask for a little bit of feedback on uh, some things I'm kinda thinking about doing. So yeah, if you guys wanna hang out for a little bit after this contract, uh, and we might play something else after this. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what shakes out, all right? That was some quick, yeah, that's some speed hit manning. So I'm going to do it a little differently, all right? Mr. Faber. Yes. You're the weapons designer. Absolutely. Smashing. Let's have a look at what you've got. Well, the designs I sense were unique. Let's begin with a really challenging 
I'm always up for a challenge, Mr. Faber. So, where to begin? I'll leave that entirely up to you, Mr. Faber. I'm all about freedom of approach. Very well. Right, let's have a look at this. And they say the pen is mightier than the sword. Wouldn't Charlie's you agree? Eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last Whoa, time we have to coming. deal with he's Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. was brutal, wasn't it? Oof. It was a bit rough. No! Real space! <laughs> oh no. Don't worry, I'll, I'll VOD it. I'll VOD it. Yeah, you didn't think it was gonna go that quick, huh? Dude, and I hit the body so fast. So this should be a flawless uh, silent assassin here. And just for time, I'm not gonna change back into my suit. We'll just leave like this. That's how it's done. Silent Assassin. And we got the explosive pen. So we got 6,000 XP on this playthrough. Five stars, eight minutes, 35 seconds, 166,407 score. What we got? Level seven? Level eight, maybe? Okay. Now uh, we can look at the breakdown here. Destroyed a camera, got a disguise, intel items, silent takedown, body hidden, got a key, unnoticed, target only was killed, silent assassin, killed the undying, silent assassin, got all our bonuses, we're good, no, it, yeah, it was bad, it was, it was like the Joker in the Dark Knight, you know, I'm gonna make the pen dis pencil disappear, you know, just like slam his face into it, yeah, yeah. That was rough. Boat rental hut. The ICA can smuggle a briefcase containing a large item into the boat rental hut. I actually don't even know that, where that is. I haven't played these maps enough to, to know all this. A modern light pistol. Uh, rapid firing with good magazine capacity. This one with the signature Mark II look. Hmm. Explosive pen will explode shortly after being thrown, but also sharp enough to kill on impact. Interesting. So we got the Florida fit with gloves. So we've added gloves. Terminus, a custom tailored suit with French cuff shirt, battered and blood stained following an escape from a burning hotel. This was from Hitman Absolution actually. And the name of the mission was Terminus. Uh, that was actually a really cool Hitman game because he was he was kind of on the run in that game, and he had to he had to improvise his escape from the police. We will actually play that on stream uh, at some point. I've been trying to figure out when I could do like a like a proper go back and replay some Hitman games. And Absolution is actually one of the ones I want to consider doing first because it had a really interesting story i just watched it back yeah it was bad it was bad
It was really gory. Um, let's have a look at this. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think the pen kill was going to go quite go that way. All right, so that that is that um complete. Let me see. Bring us over here. Hang on, let me cut the Walking Dead theme there. Nice, nice. Let's try. I'm gonna try my other camera angle. Pretty cool. All right, let's see. Uh, that's gonna be it for the Hitman stream tonight. I'm gonna actually. Um, we've got him eliminated. And uh, we will be playing some more Hitman because I still have yet to progress through the entire story, so there's that. Um, hang on, somebody, somebody sent me a message. You can make it by, you can make it by building a car. Interesting. All right. Oh, let's have a look at this. All right, let me put that controller on charge. I'm loving this new camera angle. Look at this. Now I need to get the, the thing for the floor. Um, is that too much? You think that's too much on the screen? Maybe I should put, maybe I should shrink down a little bit. Okay, that's too small, but just maybe, you know, leave a little bit of headroom, you know? Let me see. That's probably right back where it was, wasn't it? Or well that kinda does that kinda Tonight's news. <laughs> Welcome to The Daily Show. I'm Trevor Noah. Uh, that's a bad impersonation. Cool. Um, so let me change, let me change our title and stuff here. Uh, we're gonna hang out on the PC. What do we have to categorize ourselves under now? Cause, oh, is IRL, IRL is still a thing, okay. So it's still a game choice, all right. Give me one second. I'm going to cut this video and we'll be right